Hi everyone, this is Sarah Fezio, and today we are going to be pouring a painting um, using a medium, not paint and water, and I'm trying something new that I've never tried before. This is Golden Polymer Medium Gloss, so it should be very shiny, and I've never actually used this brand, but I saw it and I thought I might want to try it because what it will do was is actually thicken up some of the paints um, the fluid paints like iridescent gold deep quinacridone magenta quinacridone nickel azo gold and I'm going to use titanium white either titanium white or I don't know maybe titan buff which is an off-white color so these are the colors I'm going to use. I mixed, I put the medium in four cups. It's going to be very, I've already leveled my canvas. This is going to be very important for this. I think I'm just going to put some in another cup because I've used almost that whole 16 ounces, but that's okay. I don't want a whole lot of white. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drop some white in there. Not a lot, just a little bit. And then I'm going to stir it. And I'm going to see, and hopefully you can see that there's paint and then there's the medium. And so I want to mix it completely. until my color looks like it's muted because it will it should dry white but it will look muted and you can't really tell with this particular color but maybe if I show you the quinacridone magenta and I'm just going to take some from here put it here like that share the love Quinacridone magenta, another one of my favorite colors. So, I know you can see better if I do it kind of like this. Usually to the side you can see, even if it's not in focus, so. So we'll start with that and we'll see what it looks like. And you can see when I'm mixing that it's not completely mixed together because you still see the white streaks, which the product dries clear. But I should end up with a muted quinacridone magenta color, which I have, and that is the consistency. Okay? Then I'm going to use some um, I don't really want those drips on my canvas, but okay going to use some quinacridone nickel azo gold and I've used this color before obviously I love that color and it looks really good when it blends with quinacridone magenta it's like an orangey color but they actually look really good together I love it doesn't take near as long to stir this paint in medium. Okay, here we go. So I have white. I'm going to try um, iridescent gold deep, but I tell you what, almost every time I use this color, you can't see it, but that's usually the, I've, I've only used the ink. I just bought that one today, so we'll see we'll see if you can actually see it
and you might be asking why am I using a medium if I normally see how the gold is muted it'll be nice and shiny and gold but um anyway you may be asking why am I using a medium besides water um, when I normally just do water well the artist loft paint dries much darker than well it's still recognizable but it does dry darker so the problem is the mediums are, are expensive for how much you have to use. So I have my gold, nickel azo gold, quinacridone, nickel azo gold, quinacridone magenta, white, and I want to use Now, should I use ultramarine blue? Let me see what else I have back here. Um, I want a purple, but I don't know if I have a golden purple. I do, I do. I have dioxazine purple. Well, we'll use that sparingly. How about that? Ultramarine blue. I hope that's plenty. Believe it or not, when I did the um, the little canvas um, panels that were four by four and I actually put texture on the canvas first on the on the panels this is the color um, that I used um, to test to see if you could see through it and it actually looked really good with the others so I'm just mixing a little bit of this just in case I might add some more see that's really pale that doesn't look like it's going to be dark enough to me. I, I don't think so. So I want it a little bit richer. So I'm just going to add some more drops in there. A little bit richer, more rich. See how you can tell a difference already that it is actually going to be a darker blue. It's still muted because of the medium, but it's definitely darker. Okay, I have blue. I think I like that better than dioxazine purple. Um, and then with the leftover, I'm gonna go ahead and use some Titan Buff, which is an off-white color. So I have white, I have lots of colors. Now comes the question, do I want to do a dirty pour? We could do a couple of pours. This is the fun part about um, pouring a painting. You get to make all sorts of decisions and usually you're not going to mess up. I mean, you could have your canvas on level. That, that's one of the ways you can mess up and your painting runs off, um, especially if you're using a medium like this. You could use colors that don't go well together and they're complementary on the color wheel or opposites like purple and yellow will turn brown and red and green will turn brown. Okay, so off-white, white, gold, because I'm using the medium, I'm not worried about wetting my canvas first. However, I will be adding a small amount of GAC 800 into each one. And I have ordered more because I'm almost out. I'm telling you, you don't want to have a painting that you love craze on you.
You'll be crying. Why? Why me? What did I do? I actually see that a lot. What happened to my painting? Just a little bit. There's not much in there. Yeah, and this is almost gone. So I might have to go actually check out Azel Art Supply, which is here in Fort Worth off 7th Street, kind of. I know it's there. I've never been there, but it's a specialty shop, um, painting shop, and maybe I'll go tomorrow. And I did a video where I made the mistake, guys. I'm going to warn you now. See this little cup? It was the perfect size to do a dirty pour on the 8x10 canvas. But guess what? When I flipped it over, it crumpled. So make sure that you have a firm enough cup that it's not going to crumple when you turn it over. So we'll actually use a large cup. And I'm going to put white on the bottom like I normally do, but not all of it, just some of it. You always want to leave a little bit in there. And then I think we'll put the gold because the gold is a metal. It is heavy, so it it's probably just going to stink to the bottom, so I won't put it all in there. I'll just put some in there. And when I say sink to the bottom, I don't just mean this cup. I mean, if you have a lot of layers of paint on your canvas, the gold or the denser the paint is or the heavier the pigment is, the more likely it is going to be covered up by all of the other colors. So I have my gold. I'm going to put blue on top. This is quinacridone magenta. Put almost all of that in there. Quinacridone Nickel Azo Gold. That's sitting on the top. I don't know if this is enough to cover this canvas, but we'll see. I have Titan Buff. And I'm putting my blue on top because blue tends to be one of the lighter pigments. See how it's just kind of sitting on top of everything else? Even if I pour it directly, it just sits on top. And there won't be any blue left. Now, my fingers are a little sticky. I'm not worried about that, but I do want to smooth out any drips I have. Move these to the side. This is going to be messy. I can also just put this paint directly onto the pour once it's done. So we'll just set these over here. I just have to make sure that when I tilt my canvas, I'm not tilting on top of them. And I don't like to pick up my canvas because it's never level then, but I'm going to do it in this case. I think it was like right there or something. Looks right. Like I got it back in the spot I need it to. Where's my level? I'll just double check. I'm going to let that sit for a minute. Maybe that'll help. 
All right, let's go. We definitely have bubbles. We have lots of air bubbles, a rainbow effect in there. I'm going to keep this like that in case I need it. Set that to the side. And I am going to tilt my canvas. This is super thick. I don't want all the blue to go off. I definitely need it to pour off the side though. Gloves are very important in this. Just off the side and back. Down. Come on. Okay. kind of nice. Except that part right there. It's not a gallery wrapped canvas, so um, it would be framed anyway, but I just want to make sure the sides are covered. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and stop the video. I do think the painting is flowing some, but not a whole lot. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. I think it's kind of flowing this way, which is okay. It can do that because I think this will continue to go this way, this will go this way, and this may come down some, which is fine. But I'm going to stop it so I can start editing the video. And then basically you're not going to be able to see the finished product um, until 24 hours because it takes that long for a painting to dry. And it is building up a little bit over here. As long as it doesn't go over the edge, I'm going to be okay. But this is some real interesting stuff right here. I'm actually really pleased with it except for that part right there. I don't really like that. It's like this one blue thing in the middle of my white, but another one's, there's more stuff appearing, so here too. So I'm not gonna mess with it, except for maybe to put I think it's flowing. 
I think it's going this way. Let's see what happens. The longer it sits, the less likely it is to flow. I'll probably post pictures tomorrow morning on uh, my pay, my artist page on Facebook, which is Sarah Fezio Artist, um, facebook.com um, slash Sarah Fezio Artist, and you'll be able to see the final painting then, hopefully in the morning. If not, it'll be in the evening when I can show it to you guys when it's dry enough to actually move. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you, and just to remind everyone, I did use a new product. I used Golden Polymer Medium Gloss, which I had not used before, and I like it a lot. Um, it seemed like it was less sticky um, than some of the stuff I've used in the past. Um, hopefully the colors will stay nice and bright like this. In fact, they may even be richer uh, because... Uh, I use golden paints and not student level paints with it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more videos and get alerts when I post. And maybe sometime this weekend I'm going to try to do another live. I have horrible internet upload speed. Nothing I can do about that. But I would like to try to do more of those. Uh, to answer your questions. So thanks for watching guys. Lots of love. Bye.